What's going on YouTube and welcome to the rundown here for week 16. We have a great video today, a random packs video today. Been a long time since I've done one of these. There are no new products out today, so we are going to rip some old 2020 and um, you guys hear that? What? Wait, wait, wait. wait, what is that? No, 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 Ian, you can't have my channel. No, 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 no. You beat me. You know, I spent two years on this channel. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Ian of If Sports Cards, the proud new owner of Run Good Life's channel. I beat up on him in fantasy playoffs this last week, moved on to the championship, so wish me luck. We have an episode of The Rundown today that's going to be fantastic. Some of my favorite football products are going to be opened in this one. Hopefully, we can pull something cool for you guys. And if any George Kittles are pulled, you better send them my way, Run Good Life. I'm just kidding. He's opening this for you today. I hope you guys enjoy. Happy holidays. I want to thank Ian for that intro. Me and Ian went to battle in uh, the YouTube Hobby Content Creators League, and he got the better of me, as you heard. We'll have that update for you at the end of the video. Um, but today, we are ripping some old packs. We are going back to 2020, and uh, we have a mega box full of playbook. Uh, we have a couple absolute fat packs, so we're going to go kaboom hunting. Uh, we are we have a mosaic. We can go Genesis hunting. We'll look for a silver Herbie. We'll look for a downtown, and we will look for a uh, zebra in the selects. Um, so, again, no new products coming out right now. We have Illusions Football releasing tomorrow. We had Zenith first off the line Dutch auction on Panini's website this morning. Uh, so we will have those potentially by next week, but nothing new. Uh, so I said, let me just grab some of my old stuff and let's uh, take a trip down memory lane as we close out 2021. Let's go rip some 2020 products and chase those Herberts, chase those Burrows. Again, I want to welcome you to the rundown. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button as well this is our weekly series where we talk all things football we put a bow tie on uh week 15 we look ahead to week 16 and man what a sour sour week if as a seahawks fan not only did our game get pushed to tuesday not only did i lose on tuesday to ian watching stafford and cup and penny and michelle put in work uh chip away at my 50 point lead and uh lead him into the finals uh, my Seahawks got screwed. Uh, of course, the game got delayed because of all the Rams that were on pr in protocols. And then, um, you know, by the time the game came around, my Seahawks had some protocols or had some guys enter protocol. It happens. But other than that, I mean, Sunday night football, we had a pretty boring game, a 9-0 shutout. Uh, New England again, or not New England, New Orleans continuing their regular season dominance against Tom Brady. Um, just crazy stuff. I mean, elsewhere around the league, uh, the only other shocker, the only one to talk about, maybe the one that was worse, you know, the Seahawks lost, but hey, they put up a good fight. Arizona, what happened? Y'all got thumped by the Detroit Lions. It was super awesome seeing the Lions get a win. I love Motor City, Dan Campbell, and I, hey, I think when the Lions are beating, uh, 10 win teams, we're all a little bit of fans of Detroit, right? I mean, elsewhere around the league, we had the Colts get over the Patriots, um, so, Kind of a crazy week. There were some upsets. Uh, there were some uh, good games, and there were some just games that were just super boring. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, we do have a whole mega box full of playbook to kick us off, and we'll go down in order. I kind of sorted these by my least favorite to my most favorite. Um, so, figured let's go ahead and rip some 2020. This is all uh, the stuff that we, some of it's out. You know, 2021 Absolute is out. I'm sure we'll see playbook at some point. And then, of course, we have Mosaic to look forward to in January. And uh, then we also have Prism. And then also, I think, in February, we'll see Optic. And at some point, we'll see Select. Uh, so, Cortland Sutton. That's going to be a Le'Veon Bell. That is going to be the Playbook exclusive bronze. We have a Chase Claypool that is not going to be numbered. That's a yellow. And then Kyle Duggar. Claypool, man. Lots of talent, but kind of like DK. A little bit of a... A little bit of an attitude problem. DK Metcalf, of course, um, on Monday night there, just not getting, just not getting the catches that he probably should be getting. Um, Marvin Jones, this might be our auto. Nope, that is going to be a blitz of Devin Singletary. Uh, we've got Gabriel Davis and Jawan Jennings. Um, so I believe these are one autograph or memorabilia per. Um, this is a really bad product from 2020, um, but. I think it only came... How did this come? I can't even remember the configurations because I didn't rip too much of it. That's going to be Darnell Mooney for the Bears. 
Not numbered on those. That's interesting. I, so we've seen a couple different colors. I think these might be team color, actually. Each are Gross Matos and uh, uh, J.K. Dobbins. All right, last pack here. See if we have a relic or an auto. This is stuff that I've just kind of had been sitting around all year. Um, and I was kind of trying to figure out what we were going to do for the today's video. And I was like, you know what? Random pack video. Seems to be really popular elsewhere. This looks like it might be a relic, maybe for the Eagles. Uh, that's going to be Hurts on the next up relic. So, hey, I will take that, Jalen Hurts. Uh, somebody in my Discord asked uh, what we think of Jalen Hurts, if he is a sell, if he is a hold. What do you guys think? I'm curious to get your thoughts. What do you think about Hurts right now? Is he a sell? Is he a hold? Is he a buy? I don't know. So, uh, I'm not sure on him. Uh, I do like Burrow a lot, and I like Tua a lot. I've said I like Tua a lot on this channel, and uh, I've been a believer. I'm a believer in Ben DiNucci right there, the GOAT, Mr. Ben DiNucci. All right, that mega sucked. Uh, no auto. Uh, let's move on to Absolute. Now, wouldn't it be crazy if we saw a Kaboom in these 20-card pack? Kabooms are obviously the big, big draw. I'm not seeing anything super thick. Uh, so we've got Saquon, Edelman, Minshew, Trubisky, Xavier Howard, Drew Brees, Odell Beckham Jr., Chris Carson, and Marlon Mack. This is going to be a troll card right here, not going to be an autograph. Going to be a green parallel of Isaiah Simmons. Lamar Jackson, Terrell Davis, and then you get this big fat stack of rookies in a fat pack. So Kinlaw, uh, P. Ryan, Desmond Patton, T. Higgins, James Prochi, McFarlane, Uchi and Dalton Keene. Not quite the run of rookies we wanted to see. Maybe we see a Kaboom here. How crazy would it be? We've opened a ton of this stuff, and we have not seen very many Kabooms. We did see a Kaboom in a recent group break from a blaster, nonetheless. It was um, Dak Prescott going to my buddy Seth. Um, but other than that, we've opened a ton of 2020 and didn't see any. I think we saw maybe one Kaboom a few months back from a Mega. Uh, Brandon Ayuk is going to be on the troll. Got Sean Alexander, Juju Smith-Schuster, KJ Hamler, Denzel Mims, Watkins, Luton, Terrell Hightower, and Ig Benogany, and Dobbins again. Wow, that was... Uh, we're, we're two boxes in, and uh, it has not quite gone our way. All right, let's continue on. Uh, we do have Mosaic. This is going to be a 15-card cello pack. We do get the beautiful looking pink cam camo parallels. Uh, and we can also hit the blue fluorescence, I believe, numbered to 15. Um, so we've done a ton of mosaic. I'm pretty sure I saw mosaic is slated for a January, early January release. So we might be seeing mosaic football in the early part of January. Of course, Prism Football 2021 Prism Football is dropping, I believe, on the 26th of January. Um, so we will have... Be chasing Mac Jones, Silvers, be chasing all of those. Uh, I will be doing a hobby box of that for sure on the channel. Um, so we have Dwight Freeney, Baker Mayfield, Jerry Rice, Tom Brady. I will take that. That is actually a pretty clean surface on that Tom. I know I know it's not popular to grade, uh, to grade uh, base cards anymore. I know PSA's backlog is crazy, but still a clean surface. It is clean. Mm, I see the bubbles on it. Never mind. Not a clean surface. Uh, old school, Steve Young and Peyton Manning on the MVPs. So nothing crazy yet. Again, these these packs have been sitting on my shelves for a very, very long time. Uh, so hopefully we can have a Genesis sweat here. How sick would that be? I'm just seeing another green, though. Uh, Barry Sanders, Luke Keekley, Curtis Martin Green is going to be Kyle Rudolph. Flea Flicker. I like these Flea Flickers, so I'm excited for those to come back. We'll probably see, like, who are we going to see? Probably Mac. No, we won't see a rookie on there. So, be interesting. Uh, and T. Higgins. I was going to say something like Mac Jones, Ramondra Stevenson. And, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to see that one. All right, Camo Pack. Maybe Herbie in here. Or Burrow. I think Burrow stuff's a little low. So, I've been quietly scooping up some Burrow. Uh, Kyle Fuller. Devin McCourty. And this should be a rookie. That's going to be a Michael P. Ryan on the pink camo. I'm excited for Mosaic to come back. You know, Mosaic basketball was pretty fun this year. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a little expensive. We are starting to see retail basketball, retail Mosaic work its way out. So 
Uh, we will have an Optic Cello box at some point. Also, the retail hangers have made their way out, and they're a little expensive right now. So if you've been looking at the secondary markets, maybe eBay, considering buying those Optic or Mosaic NBA hanger boxes, just wait a couple weeks. Um, 60 bucks is a little bit too much. All right. Some people say Prism is king. Um, I disagree. Uh, this is one of, actually, of all the Chromium sets, probably my least favorite of the sets. I think Optic was definitely my favorite. Um, but hey, it's Prism. We all know the drill. Uh, the silver prisms are what is to get. Uh, retail prism last year was a little bit underwhelming, especially the cello packs. Now, you can't hit, of course, I destroyed that, but you can't hit anything numbered from these. Um, nothing numbered. Um, the best, and no autos, I believe. I believe the best you can hope for out of these is a silver. So maybe a silver Herbie is in our future. I just keep asking for the biggest hit possible. Uh, of course, you always, you always got to dream big, right? Especially around the holidays, asking Santa to deliver me a Justin Herbert rookie card. Ryan Tannehill, Saquon Barkley, Jason Pierre, Paul, Anthony Harris, Shaq Thompson, Green, not a rookie, going to be Josh Reynolds. Uh, go hard or go home, Saquon. And Patrick Queen. I heard a crazy stat during that Giants game, something like, Saquon had never lost a fumble in something like 700 odd plus snaps his whole career He had never lost a fumble. He had fumbled, but his team had recovered. He had never lost a fumble until that game against the Giants Or against the Cowboys, excuse me. The Giants uh, got beat up on in that one 21-6 All right, three card red white and blues not my favorite parallels um, Compared to some of the other ones, you know those those pink camels We just saw kind of a plain design um McFarlane, okay, one for the PC right there, Tyler Lockett, and a rookie shield, going to be DJ Dallas also for Seattle, so a couple Seattle PC cards right there, I'll take them, all right, we have uh, Optic next, now Optic would normally be my favorite uh, pack, and would normally be my favorite pack, but these are fat packs, and these were very underwhelming, so we can potentially hit a downtown Best case scenario is going to be a green velocity rookie. Uh, these, I, I would just caution you, probably stay away from them. These were by far the, the, the configuration that I had the worst luck with. Um, so, like I said, we do have a, a green velocity rated rookie, thankfully. I believe those fell four per every 12 cello pack box. Uh, Tom Brady right there, DJ Chark, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, and I'm seeing purple on this, so I'm wondering if this is maybe going to be... A PC card for my good friend Nichols. Uh, probably Devin Daverne is going to be our green velocity. Probably the best card that we've seen so far. Maybe that Hurts is a little bit better. Um, but nothing too crazy yet. But hey, Devin Daverne right there on the green velocity. One rookie in these packs only. So only AJ Epinesa and then more base vets. Um, so you can hit downtowns and things like that from those but again you guys just kind of saw uh if you don't hit that green velocity it is literally just all base cards with one rookie all right these i would argue are the two best values in this run of products that we've done um so again it is select retail there was a lot of it put out there but you can hit uh one of ones from these right, let's go ahead and show you the back i keep forgetting to show you the back um so let's go ahead and do that you can hit one of ones, black one of ones, and tie dies to twenty five. You can also hit zebras, which are which are sh super short printed, and uh, of course you can hit the field level parallels. Field level silver is also a very very nice payday. Uh, so let's see what we can find. Uh, Chase Claypool, Drew Locke, DeAndre Swift, Dak Prescott, KJ Hamler, Odell Beckham Jr., Gabriel Davis, and James Connor get into uh, our inserts and fun stuff we have peyton manning on the unbreakable uh we've got aj dillon and do we have a burrow uh, we have a clyde edwards e lair i will take that as well clyde edwards e lair on the turbocharged hot stars drew Locke. he did get into that game unfortunate injury right there for teddy bridgewater um, but he did get into that game against the uh, Bengals. Bengals still were able to pick up the win but hey drew lock actually looked competitive out there silver is going to be oh silver jalen johnson or joshua jackson what joshua kelly i can't say his name i'm on tilt right now i'm more tilted than when ian stole my channel from me 
Uh, we have Trevon Diggs. That's a nice one right there. Cowboys. Diggs has been killing it this year. And Travis Kelsey on the field level. One thing that I liked about 2020 Select um, Football, that uh, I liked that the cards were not different than 2020 Select Hobby Football. Now, with basketball, all of the base were that retail blue color. But with football, all of the all of the base was still the same color, so it's indistinguishable from uh, from the hobby, uh, the base that came in the hobby boxes. All right, I think I just spoiled it. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can find. A final pack here, and then we will go over and uh, check out the YouTube fantasy YouTube hobby content creators fantasy league update. Take a look at the finals uh, in that one, and then give you my picks as well for week sixteen. Uh, Justin Jefferson, Joe Montana, Ryan Tannehill, Ben DiNucci, The Goat, CeeDee Lamb, Drew Brees, Antonio Gibson, J.J. Watt. We have Jerry Judy on the, uh, that's going to be, what were these? Uh, select Certified, Hot Stars of T.J. Watt. It's been a minute since I've opened 2020 Select. Uh, we have Terrell Davis. Hey, there we go. We have a Joe Burrow. I will take that. Like I said, I've been stashing away some Joey B's because... Really, I really like Joey B from that class. I, I really like Joey B. I mean, Herbert gets all the love in the hobby. Joey B is great. Silver is going to be Stefan Diggs on the club level. I will take us another Joe Burrow, and uh, we'll end with Kyler, who uh, had a bad had a bad week. Um, so, I uh, I think I don't think it gets any easier for the for the Cardinals. They do have to play the Colts, and that's going to be a Christmas game on December twenty fifth. So a couple of burrows, but otherwise, uh, those packs were probably better off staying on the shelf. Uh, not too much in the hits column. Uh, we did a burrow, a couple burrows, a like Michael P. Ryan, a Jalen Hurts, and probably going to my friend Nichols PC, uh, Devin Deverne. All right, let's head on over, talk about my picks, and uh, look at the finals for the YouTube Hobby Content Creators Football League. All right, so we kick off here in RGL's Pick'em League. It is coming down to the wire, and myself is currently sitting in fifth place. Nothing really changed too much at the top. All the top five are separated by one point. The top eight, actually, were all separated by one point. Uh, so again, 100 players. We've been doing this for 15 weeks now, um, and the top three are going to be getting a, a Mega Box, a Blaster Box, and a Hanger Box, something along those lines. I'm trying to get that top spot so I don't have to give away a mega box. Uh, T. Bowman currently in the lead with 150 correct picks on the season um, at a at a two to one clip in terms of getting picks correct or wrong. Uh, Yoba Goya and Ludacris in the top three as well. So those three are currently going to be the prize getters. Not bad for a running back. And then of course you got myself. Let's go ahead and take a look at my picks for week 15. Uh, I did finish 12 and four again, so another 12 and four week. Correctly had Casey over the Chargers, uh, did not have Indy over New England. I had Buffalo, I did not have Detroit, uh, almost nobody had Detroit. 99% pick distribution went to Arizona right there. Uh, Miami over New York, I had that. Had Dallas, did not have Pittsburgh in the upset over Tennessee. Uh, I had Houston in the upset over Jacksonville and Cincinnati over Denver. Uh, San Francisco over Atlanta had that one. Green Bay over Baltimore in a nail-biter. Baltimore made that one close towards the end. I had Tampa Bay. New England got it done again, proven to be a Tom Brady's kryptonite in the regular season. Uh, I had Las Vegas, so all of my underdog picks, it looks like, except for New England. All of my underdog picks, I was pretty good. Three for four on underdogs. Minnesota over Chicago. Uh, that game probably just shouldn't have been on TV. That was such a boring game. Uh, the Rams over Seattle. Unfortunately, I did have to go with the Rams. It just looked like that. And then Philly over Washington. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my picks for this week. Uh, so this week in week 16, I've got the underdog Tennessee at home against San Francisco. I just like Tennessee at home. Green Bay with a win. I have Indy uh, in an upset again. Arizona, like I said, I don't think it's getting any easier for them. Indy coming off that big win against New England. I do think they're going to keep the momentum rolling, and they are looking like a serious playoff contender right now. Uh, JT is crazy. JT was crazy, and uh, unfortunately, fortunately, I had him in one league, and playoff started last week, and I lost just because JT wasn't in my lineup. A bunch of favorites. I have Atlanta over Detroit. Uh, the feel-good ends. Atlanta's a good team. Uh, Cincinnati over Baltimore. I do think Cincinnati keeps the momentum rolling. The Rams over Minnesota. I have New England over Buffalo. I do think that Mac Jones will 
probably throw a, a bit more than nine yards or whatever it was the last time those two teams met. I'm going with an underdog pick here. I do think Jacksonville gets their first win against the Jets in the post-Urban Meyer era. I'm going with Philly over the Giants. I'm going with Tampa over Carolina and the Chargers over Houston. I'm hoping Seattle gets back in the win column. We can finish the season strong. Uh, we don't have our first round uh, draft pick anyway, so might as well win these last three games and feel good about something. I have KC over Pittsburgh. I do think that'll be a really, really good game. Uh, Denver, I have as an upset over Las Vegas. Let the, let the Las, oh, what did I do? Let the Las Vegas hate commiserate or continue. I have a Dallas over Washington and I have Miami over New, Miami in an upset over New Orleans on Monday night football. Hopefully we don't have any Tuesday night football again. Um, although it was fun having all those games. No more Tuesday night football. Uh, let's lay, take a look at the YouTube Hobby Content Creators League. And as I said earlier, I fell just short of defeating Ian. Ian and Hitman Rips moving on to the finals. Uh, so they will be playing in the finals. We'll break down their matchup in just a second. Um, but as you can see, this is how the playoffs shook out. So quarterfinals, Ian got past 5-0 Cheddar Bob. Pack Addicts got passed up north. Hitman over Bowman and myself over Ollie Moon. And then, of course, then the semifinals, Hitman over Pack Addicts. And I couldn't get the job done against Ian, which means that we don't have the dream Hitman Rips versus Run Good Life matchup. But if you pay attention, tomorrow we'll be doing something pretty fun uh, in terms of battles. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how Ian and Hitman both stack up. Um, so uh, let's take a look first quickly how Ian got the job done. So I went into Tuesday with a 50-point lead, having almost all my team play except for Darrell Henderson. And as you can see, Darrell Henderson undershot. Uh, Would have been a lot closer had he hit his projected. I also had Joku kind of poop the bucket, if you will, against... Uh, Cleveland or against Las Vegas. He did have that touchdown reversed, unfortunately. I had Dalton Schultz on the bench. He scored one point last week. I couldn't play him this week in the semis. Picked up Joku. Thought it might be a nice matchup with uh, Baker out. Maybe uh, Joku get some easy catches right there as a like a safety valve or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, that didn't work. Kamara only five points. Again, that probably cost me. Uh, Renfro didn't put up his uh, didn't put up his heroics that he put up last week. On the other side of the ball, Stafford did just enough to get it done. Cooper Cup, amazing as always. Uh, Judy didn't even get play, or I don't know if he played or he got hurt, but Judy, uh, no show in that game. Uh, Sonny Michelle doubled up basically his projected. Rashad Penny didn't do too much for him. George Skittle killed me. George Kittle, really good. Uh, Myers, again, got the job done in terms of hitting his projected. And uh, Bass and uh, Arizona didn't do didn't do too much, but it was enough to get over the hump. Ian beat me by a lot, 11 points. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how Ian and Hitman match up in their matchup. And as you can see, Hitman does have uh, does have some questions in his lineup as we record this here on late Monday night. So Ian's gonna run Stafford and Cup out there as well as My uh, Myers. He's got Wilson and Foreman at his running backs. He's going with Skittle again. And uh, Sony Michelle, uh, and he's going Seattle defense this time around. Maybe rubbing it in a little bit to me. Uh, on the other side of the ball, um, you know Tom Brady is very hampered right now. Uh, he is lacking his uh, weapons. Um, Michael Gallup and Amonra St. Brown. So Amonra could potentially be having a big game for Hitman. Eckler on the COVID list does not look like. Uh, yeah, uh, today placed on the COVID list. Uh, so that's that's rough. Hunter Henry, his tight end, and uh, he's got A.J. Green, Bullock, and the Rams defense as well. Um, so as it looks right now, Ian is the 13-point favorite to win this one and to take the league. We'll have to see if it gets it done, if, if Ian can get it done and um, see who can win this one. Uh, as you guys know, me and Hitman are always close, and you can see that Ian tried to steal my channel earlier in this video. So me personally, if I'm going with Pick'em, I gotta go with my dude. I'm sorry, Ian. I gotta go with my dude, Hitman Rips. I think he's gonna get the upset win. Something's gonna happen here. Something's gotta give. Maybe Tom Brady will come out with a little bit of fire being shut out in the last game and throw six touchdowns. Who knows? That is gonna do it for the rundown here for week 16. I'll be back next week, and hopefully we'll have some new product to rip. I'll have a full recap of the finals matchup 
and uh, with my picks. Uh, so be on the lookout tomorrow because me and Hitman got something cool in the works with a buddy of ours. You'll probably be able to figure out which buddy I'm talking about. But uh, good luck to your team, unless they're playing my team. Catch you next week, YouTube.